and welcome back to the Reapers. So we're in our beloved MiG-21s again and we're going to take something that is specific to the MiG-21, the nuclear bomb, um, which is always interesting. Uh, so, start, let me go to the arming screen quickly. We carry it on the central pod, number three, central pylon, bombs, and it's the RN-24, the RN-28. Uh, tell us about these bombs, what, um, what warhead sizes are they, etc. So officially BCS of course does not actually support nukes, but they are the closest thing we get. They are kind of a simulation of really small nukes. So the RN-28 would be a 1 kiloton warhead, and the RN-24 has a 10 kiloton warhead. So the 24 is the bigger one? Yes, I would however usually not recommend using that because, well, the 28 is going to do the trick, and you're probably going to kill yourself with the 24. Roger. There you go. Do not use the 24 because it's too big to use. Use the 28. One kiloton is all you need to blow an airport up or something. Right, okay, arming up. Request rearming. Right, so we've got our lovely big RN-28 uh, armed, if you're into nuclear bombs, that is. Uh, so, let's look at the first weapons panel here. Now, all we want from here is to set this switch to ground. And I'm not entirely sure about this one, but I set it to neutral just in case. Okay, the weapons selector that we usually use for weapons here is superfluous we don't need to use that at all on to the aiming site uh, that doesn't matter that doesn't matter gyro missile don't matter but bombing we want that set to bombing for this to work the uh, bomb arm that we have down here that we usually use for bombs is not in use now it's been replaced by this panel the nuclear bomb arming panel here so let's go through the buttons here emergency jets in here we do not want armed mode we do want to have armed it there we've told it's a normal drop spec b here so spec b essentially uh, says that we want to use the bomb rather than the guns or missiles or rockets or something like that okay shoot to add a shoot to the bomb that doesn't work air or ground burst that doesn't work either so um those so that's the order we want uh with what we've said down there radar we're not interested in in the type of bomb drop that we're going to be doing so we've got the loaded light on, the armed light on, and the fuse light on. Uh, do you want to talk about the drop method, Stahl? Yeah, sure, standard drop uh, for a Russian nuke would be an over-the-shoulder toss bomb. So you're going to overfly a target really low at about 1000 kph, and just as you're above the target, you pull up at 5 Gs until you're at an angle of about 110 degrees, so actually already facing backwards again. That's uh, when you drop your bomb and then you just keep pulling, go low and get the back out of here. Good lord, that sounds an awful thing to do. Right, I guess we've got to go and do it, and we drop it with um, weapon release, is that right? Yes. So we drop it with that there. Right, all sounds good fun, let's get to the runway, shot. let's go and do it. For burner, and release now. off the ground and drop it. Gear up. Whatever you do, don't drop that thing now. Right, must not drop it, it's armed. Yes. Can you over G and then drop it that way? Yes. That would be embarrassing, Shaw. It would. Right, okay, Charles going in to do the bombing on his first run. I'm on autopilot, so let's go and find Shaw. That's a mighty nice looking bomb you've got there, Shaw. Thank you, Cal. Right, so going in with a steady 1000 kph. Roger. How close are you going to get to the island? And you start pulling when you're right above the target. Uh oh, interesting. You're nearly there, Star. Almost. Okay, so we're approaching the target at 1000 kph. We start pulling it just to get the target at 5 Gs with the afterburner on. Roger, that'll be a 5G pull with afterburner on. Up he goes. Degrees. There it goes. Woo! It's so beautiful. 
One minute, time to run. Have a runner on and get the hells out of there. So is that going to fall straight back down on the target then? Roughly speaking, yes. Out of interest, why didn't you drop it when you were exactly 90 degrees up? Um, that's because you actually overshoot shoot the target a little bit when you're flying over it and you still have to... Roger. So you want the bomb to go backwards a little bit. Waiting for the bomb. Okay, it's coming down. It's coming. It's gonna blow. Boom! There it is. Well done. Ooh, sugar. Hang on. Uh, Woohoo! You won't believe the, how lucky I was to avoid a mountain there. Right, so, um, <laughs> you, uh, yeah, so you, although it didn't have a blowing up graphic, um, because it's not modeled properly, you saw that the island had been blackened. Right, it's time to cap to go and do that now, stand by. Right, okay, I'm approaching my island now, so I'm going to go in at 1,000 kilometers an hour on the deck. As soon as I hit that island, I want to pull, so my uh, accelerometer here reads 5G. When I've reached 110 degrees and I'm heading backwards, I want to keep finger on weapon release, release the bomb, then dive from the loop at full power and fingers crossed. Right, stand by Charles, here I go. Press the plug. Do you start pulling as soon as you uh, hit the coast? As soon as you're above the target that you want to go for, so I went a little bit inland to be more sensitive. Oh, yeah. I think it's a little bit difficult just keeping it straight while you're pulling, so you yeah. need to look at the radio. I didn't do that very nicely either. So, we're up to 5G now. Looking at my ADI for the degrees. 70 degrees, 80 degrees, 70 and bomb drop. And release. Let's get the head out of it, Star. Burn! Drop's looking pretty good. Good. Oh! Heading towards the sea. Have a quick look at it. Yes, drop my beauty. That island is going to be so massively screwed. Yeah. Heating all over again. Roger. I'm full power Mac 2 in my way out of here, Star. <laughs> Certainly recommend that. Go on, baby. Oh, I was going to land right on your bomb crater. The really unconvincing looking bomb crater, though. <laughs> I like the little pizza slice that doesn't look burnt. Yep. Sweet, I stole my engine shot. I'm not going to make it out. I'm not going to make it out. Emergency oh, start. Emergency start. Boom! We have a nuclear bomb that didn't make any... Yes, I survived! Even without an engine, I survived, Star. Super Beautiful. cap. I went too fast, I think I stalled the engine. Right, that is the technique that we advise for dropping the RN28. We don't advise dropping the RN24 at all because it's just too stupid and dangerous. Uh, if you do want to drop the RN24, the only chance you probably have is dropping it from really high up and hoping for the... Roger, anything you want to add, Star? Um... Don't nuke people, it's not nice. You shouldn't nuke people, it's not nice. Right, I'm going to die without an engine. I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you later.